over to Indiana. Kurt Signetti is in his first year, hired just a few weeks before signing day after Tom Allen was fired at the end of the season. If you look at his career, James Madison, 19 wins the last two seasons. He's the reigning Sun Belt Coach of the Year. There is a reason that the Indiana Hoosiers wanted to bring him in. Indiana's head coach, Kurt Signetti, is joining us now, man who just got this Indiana job a few weeks ago. Kurt, what's going to be your overall recruiting philosophy in Bloomington? Recruit good players. <laughs> Let me try to elaborate on that. Are there certain states you're going for? Are there certain things you look for in a player? State-wise, it always starts in your state, border states, within four and a half, five hours. Then you got to find the other states you can be productive. Me, I look. I like production and character. Okay, there are a lot of good players out there, a lot of guys with potential. I like productive guys with good character, solid grades, right? S solid foundation of habits, particularly in the portal. Like, I value production. I'm not quite as interested in the second and third team guy at Georgia that has great potential but has been playing behind this guy and that guy. I want guys that have put years, multiple years, uh, in the record books with good production, it played 11, 12, 13 games, injury-free, uh, because I think there's value in that. Let me ask you, you're in this unique situation where you take over a program. What did you say to the players that were committed to the previous coach to get them to stay with you? Because you got a lot of them to stay. You mean the high school guys or the guys on the team? Correct, just the high school guys. Well, the first thing we did, to be quite honest with you, is we watched them all and had to make a decision whether we thought they kind of met the standard or what we were looking for. And there were about five or six that didn't. And, uh, you know, the, the other ones were uh, firmly committed to IU. We did lose uh, one uh, that we didn't want to lose uh, from Virginia. And actually, we were the first school to ever offer them when I was at JMU. Uh, but uh, and then there was another one uh, yesterday decided uh, another place might be better for him. And I was totally fine with that. So, you know, when you get hired like I did uh, and, you know, it's been 20 days of fourth and one, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I haven't seen Bloomington yet in the daylight and I'm three blocks <laughs> from downtown and I leave. It's dark. I get home. It's dark. Uh, and we've got a lot done, but it's been mainly portal emphasis because of the timing of my hire, needing immediate needs. And look, when you build a program, you got to do it now through building seasons. Uh, you got to get it done now. We're going to get it done this fall. I'm highly confident of that. And we have flipped this roster completely. Like this roster is going to look totally different in January than it looked before. And uh, I'm really optimistic, excited about what we were able to get done in three weeks. Because there was a time with all these guys in the portal where I said, boy, we got a lot of work ahead of us. But then all of a sudden we started to uh, gain speed and build momentum and we're still rocking. You got a lot of momentum when you signed Tyler Cherry, the star quarterback. What would you like when you watched his film? I think we had a lot of momentum before we signed him because he just committed yesterday. <laughs> but uh, I am really excited about him for a lot of different reasons. Uh, number one, I think he's an outstanding football player with great potential. We have a history of developing quarterbacks, four of our last five quarterback, four quarterbacks for us in the last five years have been player of the year in the conference with different styles and he recognized that and i think that's why we got three really good quarterbacks in this class since i got hired uh, we do a great job with quarterbacks receipt but we win we do a great job with all positions cherry is a high profile recruit in the state of indiana it's going to open up a lot of doors for us in 25 he's a great student he has a great future family lives 40 minutes down the road a lot of pluses there what about another quarterback, Curtis Rourke, a transfer you're bringing in? What do you see with him? Player a year in the MAC in 22, and the only reason he wasn't in 23 is because they had a better defense, so they didn't have, have to outscore people. Guy's thrown almost a thousand passes, completed 68 percent of his passes, like 680 completions, about 53 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Uh, he's a winner. He's won a lot of games. He knows how to play quarterback. Like Tom Brady knew how to play quarterback. Philip Rivers, who I coach at NC State. He knew how to play quarterback. This guy knows how to play quarterback. He'll, he gets in a bad spot first and 10, okay, he'll get you back to second and 10 or 8, not take a sack, fumble, throw an interception. This guy's a winner.
Kurt Signetti, congratulations on your first signing day at Indiana. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Here's a look at some of the guys that stand out. And we mentioned Tyler Cherry, of course, top 300 ranked player. Cherry is actually the sixth highest ranked player to go to Indiana in the modern internet era. But it is, of course, important with this program, as we talked about. Uh, they're going to need to bring in some transfers. Yep. And they've got one, especially in the quarterback. Curtis Rourke comes from Ohio. Mm -hmm. Tall guy, Mac player of the year two years ago. Yeah, well, you heard Coach talk about him, right? He, one of the things he talked about, guys in the portal, he wants to see production. He's been productive. He's been able to do that. He's also a guy that understands football, and he's going get to get his team in and out of bad plays, and that's an important part. And when anytime you have a veteran like this come in, you want him to be the leader in that room, but you also want him to be productive productive on the field. He's shown that he'd be able to do that in the past. He should be able to do that at Indiana as well. Kobe Martin is an in-state kid who was committed to Miami, Ohio. Tom Allen's staff flipped him during the season. He had a really, really outstanding senior year, ran for almost uh, 2,000 yards, ran for almost 3,000 yards his entire career, missed some time with some injuries as a senior, but still Rushed for 1,379 yards and nine touched and 19 touchdowns. So really, really good senior eval and pickup there for them. He's going to have some good players blocking for him. I really like this offensive line class for Indiana as a developmental class. Austin Libfried comes from the state of Wisconsin, a place that's produced a lot of offensive linemen. Six foot six, 275 pounds. You like these guys to have multi-sport backgrounds. He played basketball. He throws on the track team. Uh, he's already filling in more. He was 260 pounds when they first started recruiting him. He's up about 15 pounds, and I think he's going to fill in and be a really good player for them. Evan Lawrence, I think, has a chance to be one of the top players in this class. I think he's got a super bright future. Six foot six, 270 pounds. We mentioned the basketball background with Libfried. Uh, Evan, a really outstanding basketball player at the high school level. Also a thrower on the track team, but I think super, super high potential. Here. He's going to need a year or two in the weight room, but I think he's got an NFL potential. Here's a list of Indiana linebackers. T. Gray Scales, Micah McFadden, Cam Jones, most <laughs> recently Aaron Casey. That's a good list, and Quentin Clark might be next in line. He played all over the field on defense, on the ball, off the ball, even played wide receiver at times. Now, he's only listed at 200 pounds, so he'll need to put on weight, but he's real twitchy and physical on tape. He's a Georgia kid, and they know how to play some football down there, too. I'm really excited to see his career unfold.